Welcome back guys. Now, it sounds like you've had a wonderful sighting with baby elephants playing. Very, very jealous. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to see that with you. But we've actually found ourselves a nice old bull, mate, a bull giraffe. And he's actually got a few hitchhikers there on his neck. And we've just been debating at what what is going on on his neck, whether it was shaved or not. But if you actually look quite closely, the skin is quite lumpy, so I think he must have somehow brushed against maybe a, a branch or got on the wrong side of a line or something that's taken off some of the skin. I'm not quite sure it could be that he, he had an infection or something. But I think that is... Uh, well healed by the looks of it but there was actually an oxpecker that was picking away at it and the, the oxpeckers will eat ticks and other invertebrates that are on the, the giraffe but they also will go for mucus and earwax and blood so if that is an old scar some of the, those lumpy areas could could be old scarring they could be trying to lift that up and get to the blood underneath and that's that's why there's a bit of a debate as to whether the oxpeckers are actually a good thing for the animals or not because they will keep wounds open and keep the blood flowing but generally speaking they do help the animals by taking the ticks off and as I say getting rid, rid of any other external parasites you can see them climbing all over the body I'm going to see if we can maybe move down a little bit so we've got a, a more open area to see him. Tammy! Welcome on board. Can you see him through there nicely? A little bit clearer. Tammy's saying he looks like an old bull. Yeah, he does. He's quite dark. And you can see the lumps on his head. And those lumps are actually built up over time. So the calcified lumps, they, they're not born with them. They just build up through fighting. And that's to actually act like a crash helmet. So when they are fighting, they've got extra protection around their brain. Because they do use their heads and they hit each other. And you can see the fur on top of the, the what are called the ossicones. They're not quite horns, but uh, we often call them horns, but they are called ossicones. And you can see as they, the, the fur wears down, again through fighting, you can see the, the bone coming through there. And that's one way you can tell if it's a male or a female. Females tend to have... Uh, tufts of hair still because they don't tend to fight so there's no way that they can actually rub that fur off but I have seen one or two females that do seem to uh, scratch the top of the horns on branches and I have seen one or two that have lost some of the fur so it's not a steadfast rule so I usually check other things as well so how dark the giraffe is but again I've seen very dark females uh, males can be quite light when they're born and then they get darker with age and that can also be genetic as well. There's quite a lot of mist actually, I was just thinking that's uh, quite a foggy picture but it is the mist coming up from around the water sources. So hopefully that's going to clear soon, I can see the blue sky coming through. And that's something I, I, I've been saying to the guys actually, that's amazing me, I was really, I was... Uh, the viewers who have been with me for a long time know I do not like the cold. <laughs> I do not get on with it at all. So I came ready to go to the Arctic and I'm pleasantly surprised that uh, it's not as cold as I was expecting. And we're wondering if that is to do with the whole fact that uh, obviously South Africa has gone through quite a major drought last year and it's not as bad but obviously it has got... Uh, they have got had a little bit more rain than last year but it's still 
not as good as what it can be and we're wondering if it's partly to do with that. It's certainly not as cold as what I was expecting. Yeah, yes, Nicky, he certainly does. Nicky's saying he looks like he's had an interesting life. He certainly does. I'd love to know what's caused that on, on his neck there. I've not seen that. It's, I think it's just because it's such a large patch as well. There you go. You can see it quite nicely there with all the uh, the wrinkles of where all the scarrings, uh, the scar tissues actually formed. And again, you can see the ox pecker clambering around looking for any ticks amongst all the fur there. And I'll actually comb through the fur as well. Uh, yeah, comb through the fur. <laughs> 